Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have an unending stream of wealth while others struggle to make ends meet? It's a question that's been asked time and time again, across generations and continents. It's a question that piques our curiosity, nudges at our ambition, and sometimes keeps us up at night. Wealth, in its essence, isn't merely about accumulating mountains of money. It's not about the flashy cars, the luxury villas, or the designer labels. No, wealth is about something far more profound. It's about financial freedom, the power to make choices, and the ability to lead a life of financial security and stability. But how do some people manage to tap into this elusive stream of wealth? What are the secrets they know that the rest of us don't? Well, buckle up, because we're about to delve into the nine money rules the rich know that the poor don't. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started. Rule number one, it's not just about making more money, it's also about saving it wisely. Now what does that mean? Well, let's break it down. Saving wisely is all about being mindful of where your money goes and ensuring it's not just spent, but invested in a way that will make it grow. Think of it this way. Every dollar you save is a seed. If you merely keep this seed in your pocket, it will remain just that, a seed. But if you plant it, water it, and give it sunlight, it will grow into a tree bearing more seeds which in turn can grow into more trees. That's the power of wise saving. It's not about denying yourself the pleasures of life, but about choosing where to put your money for the best returns. So don't just save, save wisely, invest in your future. Remember, a penny saved is a penny earned. Rule number two, passive income is the key to financial freedom. What does this mean? Well, let's break it down. Passive income is essentially money that you earn without actively working for it. It's like having a golden goose that lays eggs even when you're not around to feed it. This can come in many forms, such as royalties from a book you've written, rent from properties you own, or dividends from investments. Imagine for instance you've written a best-selling book. Every time someone purchases your book, you receive a portion of the sale, even though you're not actively involved in the transaction. That's passive income. The beauty of passive income is that it gives you the freedom to pursue your passions, spend time with loved ones or even travel the world, all while your money works for you. It's the secret sauce that many financially successful people use to maintain and grow their wealth. Passive income helps you earn money even while you sleep. Rule number three, not all debt is bad. It's a common misconception that all debt is evil. But let's bust that myth right here. When used wisely, some forms of debt can be a tool to help you build wealth. Think of it like this. Good debt is an investment that will grow over time, making you wealthier in the long run. For instance, consider a mortgage. Yes, it's a debt, but it's also an investment in real estate, a typically appreciating asset. Similarly, student loans are a form of debt that can enhance your earning potential in the future. Then there's business loans, which can provide the capital needed to start or expand a profitable enterprise. So don't fear debt. Instead, understand it, manage it, and use it to your advantage when it makes financial sense. And always remember to approach debt with a clear plan for repayment. Remember, good debt is an investment that will generate long-term income. Rule number four, your social circle matters. Learn and grow with the right people. Let's delve into that. Think about it. The people you spend time with, they shape who you are, your habits, your mindset. Now imagine if these folks are financially savvy. They talk about investments, not just about the latest movies or gadgets. They discuss opportunities, not just problems. They inspire you to think big, to aim high. This is the power of the right social circle. It's not about using people for your gain. It's about mutual growth, shared wisdom. It's about challenging each other to be better, to do better. When you surround yourself with the right people, you're more likely to make smart financial decisions. You're more likely to take calculated risks and more likely to succeed. Remember birds of a feather flock together. The right social circle can be your stepping stone to financial freedom. Rule number five, the rich don't save money in the bank. Now you might be wondering why that is, well, the reason is simple. They know that money in the bank loses its value over time due to inflation. Instead, the rich prefer to invest their money, putting it to work in real estate, stocks, bonds, and other business ventures. Investing money not only shields it from the erosive effects of inflation, but also offers the potential for compound growth, which can multiply your wealth over time. This is the secret sauce of the rich. They let their money do the heavy lifting instead of just letting it sit idle in a bank account. Imagine your money as an army of little employees, each one working tirelessly to generate more wealth for you. 
That's the power of investing. So remember, saving alone won't get you rich but investing your money wisely can multiply your wealth. Rule number six, true wealth isn't just about having fancy things. Now this might sound counterintuitive, but stick with me. The lavish houses, the shiny cars, the designer clothes, they're all just trappings. They're not the essence of wealth. They are, at best, symbols of it. True wealth is about financial freedom. It's about having the means to live your life on your terms without the constant worry of the next paycheck. It's about having the capacity to weather life's financial storms without losing sleep. It's about being able to provide for your loved ones without compromising on your own needs and dreams. You see, the true measure of wealth is not what you can buy but what you can do. It's not about the things you own but the peace of mind you enjoy. It's not about the money in your bank but the freedom in your life. True wealth is financial freedom. Rule number seven, never stop investing in yourself. In this exhilarating journey to financial freedom, an often overlooked but crucial aspect is the investment in oneself. Just as you'd invest in stocks or real estate, investing time, effort, and resources into your personal growth is paramount. Consider this, your knowledge, skills, and abilities are your most valuable assets. They are unique to you and are the driving force behind your earning potential. By continuously seeking to improve and learn, you're essentially increasing your value, thus boosting your potential to earn more. Whether it's taking a course to learn a new skill, reading books to expand your knowledge, or attending seminars to stay updated with the latest trends, each of these self-investment strategies is a step towards greater financial success. So remember, your greatest asset isn't in your bank account, it's you. Investing in yourself is the best investment you can make. Rule number eight, the rule of time. Now, this isn't about being punctual or managing your daily schedule, though those are important. This is about the time value of money, a concept that the rich understand well. So what is the time value of money? It's the idea that money available today is worth more than the same amount in the future. The reasoning? Investment potential. A dollar today can be invested to earn interest, making it more valuable over time. This concept is key to wealth accumulation. When you invest your money, it starts working for you, growing with each passing second. It's a snowball effect, where your wealth starts to expand faster and faster. It's not just about making money, it's about making your money make more money. That's why the rich are always investing. They understand that the sooner they invest, the more time their money has to grow. Time is money, use it wisely. Rule number nine, understand the different assets and liabilities. We've all heard these terms, but what do they really mean? Simply put, assets are anything you own that has value. This could be your house, your car, your stocks, or even your collection of rare coins. On the other hand, liabilities are what you owe. These are your debts, your loans, and your obligations. They can be a mortgage, a car loan, or even a promise to pay for your kid's college tuition. Now here's the important part. To accumulate wealth, you need to increase your assets and decrease your liabilities. You want to own more and owe less. It's a straightforward concept, but it's one that many people overlook. So, start by making a list of your assets and liabilities. Then make a plan to increase the first and decrease the second. Understanding your assets and liabilities is key to financial success. So, there you have it. The nine money rules the rich know that the poor don't. We've journeyed through the importance of not just making money but saving it wisely. We've understood how passive income can be the key to financial freedom and how not all debt is bad. We've looked at how your social circle can influence your financial growth and why the rich don't just park their money in the bank. We've debunked the myth that wealth is about fancy things and stressed the significance of continuous self-investment. We've explored the rule of time in wealth creation and finally, we've demystified the concept of assets and liabilities. Each of these rules plays a pivotal role in achieving financial freedom. They are the secrets that the rich have mastered and the poor are yet to discover. Apply these rules and you too can achieve financial freedom. Until next time,